a cool scale for playing over a 251. My name is Robin Nolan, and in this series of videos, I'm answering your questions on playing gypsy jazz guitar. And make sure you subscribe to the channel here, give us a like, write a comment, and share it with a friend. Let's spread the news of gypsy jazz. And in this video, I want to show you a really cool scale uh, and a concept which you can create a really cool sound when playing over a 2-5-1 progression um, or even just a 2-5. So the first example I want to show you in Honeysuckle Rose where we've got this G minor 7, we've got a series of 2-5s, okay, it's in F, but we got and it resolves, okay, so go between G minor 7 and C7, but So here's the scale that works over this harmony. So when you're playing G minor seven to C seven, I'll show you in another con uh, another example soon. Uh, but G minor seven to C seven, we're basically going to think of F uh, an F minor uh, harmonic scale. So this scale. You know an F minor scale, then this is going to work. Okay. Anyway, so the, the scale is basically how you start with the concept, and of course you don't have to be true to every note in the scale. It goes with goes with improvising with scales in general. You don't have to, you know, we can, we're playing guitar and you can just easily add chromatics to make it more, even more jazzy, all right? So it's just the concept. And it's something which I use when I'm playing over Honeysuckle Rose, for example. And I want to get a different sound than just the usual sound. Uh, so the rhythm's going. with me right now so um, just uh, try it out the next time you do it just think you're playing over G minor 7 to C7 you're gonna go to F major but use an F minor scale and get that tension that example is in, for example, a coquette where you've got a E minor 7 to A7, so, so coquette is then you got back to D. So again, a, a series of two fives, E minor 7, A7, and then you use the same thing here on the D minor. Especially when you've been kind of playing really kind of normal conventional way of playing through the changes. This adds a real, um, yeah, an extra kind of tension and it's that kind of, that sound of there's the two, there's the five, you've got this. Okay, so what you should do is just, just try it out, okay? and hear for yourself. And with all these things, it's, it's better to hear the sound than to really think of the actual notes. But I think by, by teaching you that it's actually just based from a basic scale, then it can kind of help you navigate and find your way in a, in a particular piece. Like when you're in coquette, you go into D major, so it's a two, five, one into D, so E minor seven, A seven. So therefore, you're gonna use the D minor If you 
you're in F major, you go in between the G minor 7, 2, and the C7, 5, then funnily enough, you use F minor, even though you're going to F major. So, what you should do is definitely just try it out. And I think it'll sound great for you. And it really, when I'm playing the solos on Coquette or on Honeysuckle Rose, and I kind of remember that idea, that concept, then it kind of gives my solo an extra kind of dimension, which I think would work great for you too. So that's it. Um, if you've got a question about playing Gypsy Jazz guitar, then you can send me an email at questions at gypsyjazzsecrets.com or leave a comment below the video and I'd love to make you a video. Uh, also make sure you subscribe to the channel here, give us a like, share the video, and uh, help spread the word of Gypsy Jazz. So that's it. Most of all, stay inspired and I'll see you soon in another video.